in some of the labs that we cover on demographics where we look at particular regions and how they compare with some of the different metrics, we're going to look at the HDI website. HDI stands for Human Development Index, and it's a combination of education information, life expectancy, and income, where essentially it ranks all the countries from a high value of one all the way down to zero. And those rankings come out every year based on a combination of these metrics. There's other submetrics attached to these that help form life expectancy, education, and income that play into these. But we're going to look at these three metrics for now. Now, when we look at the web page that's linked to this, we can see what it has here. Human Development Index data, 1990 to 2017. So if you're looking at this at a later time, we might have 2018, 2019, 2020 data here. And when you open it up, we can click on the dimension and you can see some of the dimensions of the HDI and what goes into it. But for now, what we're going to look at is just the countries here and we have all of the data. So we have the HDI rank for 2017, the country 1990 all the way up to 2017. Because when we look at these countries, we can go and search for these. Okay? Because on this web page, this is an HTML web page or a web page, I can hit control F to look for something and I take I can type in a country. So I can type in the word Belize and you can see it's highlighted right there. Okay? So we can see it highlighted for the HDI, the actual graph, and then in the spreadsheet. But I want to look at a couple of easier things to play with so we can download these data. So if we wanted to, we can click on the download, download data button and download it. Now this is going to save it as a CSV file. That stands for comma separated values. So if you were to open this up in, say, a text editor, you'd see you know, the headings, everything separated by a comma. If you were to open this up in Excel, because that's my default application to open up CSV files, you'd see something that looks like this. So essentially what we're looking at are these data that we've just looked at here in an Excel spreadsheet, essentially. And you can see some of them like Angola, they don't have HDI data until 1998 for a number of reasons here. So what I'm gonna do here is just right mouse click and I'm gonna delete, delete this header. And what we'll ask for is what's ranked higher for 2017 or whatever the, the latest data are. Okay, so I can do a couple of things here. If I wanted to, I essentially can right mouse click and hide these. And now I can rank these. So I may ask for a number of different countries here. So now I'm just working with, I've really simplified my table where I look at the rank, the country, and the value for 2017. Okay. So once again, I can use my control. If I were to type in something like New Zealand, I'll spell it correctly. And I might click on the actual column. Control F, New Zealand. It'll take me down, it'll tell me it's ranked 16 with an HDI of 0.917. If you looked at the web page, it has an explanation as of how those metrics are created, but I can also sort these to look at these from highest to lowest. So I can highlight these, go to data, sort, and I can sort on HDI rank for 2017, go from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. So I can click right here. So now I can see HDI rank for 2017. Norway was the highest, followed by Switzerland, Australia, Ireland, Germany, Iceland. If you look at some of my travel videos, I have my trips to Iceland in there. I also have it in France, which is a little bit lower. So now I might have a country that says, which of the countries that end in Stan are the highest? So we have Kazakhstan. And so you can see the very first one we started at the top was Kazakhstan, down to Uzbekistan, down to Turkmenistan, down to Kyrgyzstan, and I believe Tajikistan is last. And then we have a couple others, but those aren't former Soviet uh, republics, Pakistan and Afghanistan. So I've just got here a couple of tic, uh, tips and tricks. Uh, to me, working with data is extremely important, so we can calculate things like change or whatever, but really simplify these data instead of looking for 
all of these data within a web page. We can use the control F functionality or bring some of these into Excel and sort these, look for the highest and lowest. And like I said before, if we're working with future incarnations of the HDI data, I created this video in mid-2019, so there might be other years that are available.